Do you need 20% down to purchase a home? Boy, that's something I hear all the time. I talk to so many people and a lot of people are still under the impression that you need 20% down to purchase a home. And I'm here to tell you that that's not necessarily the case. There's some mortgages that allow you to put down 3%, others 3.5%. There's even other mortgages where you can put down 0% and still qualify to purchase a home. So the question really becomes, what's the right mortgage product for you? And do you have the education that you need to be able to make that distinction as to what you can and what you can't do? So I do wanna spend a little bit of time today going through what some of the mortgage options are for the consumer. There's what's called a conventional mortgage, an FHA mortgage, a VA mortgage, and what's considered a jumbo mortgage. So let's just talk about those in a little bit of detail. Conventional mortgage is a traditional banking type of loan. And if you're a first time home buyer, you can put down as little as 3%. So the second mortgage type that I would mention is FHA. What's FHA stand for? It stands for Federal Housing Administration. FHA requires as little as 3.5% down for a down payment. And in addition to that, you do not have to be a first time home buyer to qualify for an FHA mortgage. The third mortgage type that I wanted to talk about is a VA mortgage. A VA mortgage is offered to veterans only and it requires a 0% down payment. It's really a tremendous mortgage if you do fit into the qualifications of qualifying for a VA mortgage. And the fourth mortgage that I would mention is a jumbo mortgage. So jumbo mortgages are really reserved for people borrowing large sums of money. All four of those mortgages can be tremendous opportunities for anyone looking to purchase a home. The question really becomes, what's right for you? So we spoke about a couple of different mortgage solutions that could be right for you. The reality is there's so many different mortgage solutions for the consumer to choose from. What's really important here is that you reach out to your mortgage professional to get an idea as to what the right mortgage solution is for you. Once you've come to that conclusion, you're gonna know what house you're gonna be looking for, you're gonna know how much money you need to put down, and you can understand all the variables associated with all the different mortgage solutions. So thank you for taking the time today and look forward to catching up with you soon. Hey guys, thanks for taking the time today. I hope you found it educational. If you have any questions or you have any comments, please drop a comment below. Uh, we'll certainly get back to you. Uh, in addition to that, if you really enjoyed the content, we'd appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel. Uh, we'll continue to try to provide value for you over the course of time, and we thank you for your time today. Thanks so much.